As far as I'm concerned, nothing should be breaking, but, you know, it's Arma 3 after all, and nothing ever works properly. Right after its update, so... And every single time that damn wind goes off. So I'm just gonna glide around the map, I guess, and hope for the best. Uh, everyone's, uh, yep, they all stayed garrisoned that time. That's nice. Everyone's staying on unit paths. Uh, and then, you know, we just have a very simple uh, planned here. Out of the first three supply run, very simple. They gotta get food truck number one and food truck number two out of here, and then water truck number one and water truck number two. The longer they linger, the more units I will bring in to the AO. Common sense, right? Just get in there, get the stuff, Let's get out. Be very one, quick. The only issue is they don't have drones, they don't have any recon materials. This is all they got. So, uh, yep, this is a tier zero operation. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? I do like the update, though. I can hear people's local chats from the Zeus interface. and looks like What's That is stepping off. I'm just going to use the F key, not go in the map, and just glide around as best I can. But they're going to continue on this route, probably head to the southern side of town, and check it out. It's really just a bunch of civilians. I'm going to put a few empty cars down that will be usable, but... Yep, otherwise, this should be pretty simplistic and straightforward. Then I'll put a, an MD-40 van right here, and then for the Grenadine stinking... I always call them that. It's the Genredi or whatever the fur, but... We'll just put down a simple car for them. With any beginning of an experimental campaign, I don't like to make it too unit heavy, especially on Tanoa, which already has a bunch of unit problems. Uh, but, you know, it's what we gotta work with. Uh, the recruiting tag, very simply put, that's gonna be what we give the so, give tier, uh, the TSB, green stars and red stars, if they qualify to be part of my community. It's basically because the overlord above me, Bjorn, is... I, I don't know why, but he basically grabbed a bunch of green stars and put them in tier zero because apparently the green star is now his tag. And um, yeah, he just did it without warning. So that's part of my appeasement strategy is just making another rank to throw people in instead of using the green star and the red star. You know, this is actually quite the challenge, not having to use the map key. I can still jump around with the F key. So for all the operations, they're limited to six transport trucks and these four... Six off-roads. One's already been deployed, one's been driven up. And we've got all of our nice little Command, tiered weapons. Command, first the fuse, no-go. Moving to secondary. Copy. Yeah, I think he's telling that Recon, to Chol. did you guys get eyes on Lobaka while you were moving over? I'm gonna send there a civilian go. car his way. Alright. Preferably with a person, just to drive past him. And we'll put this puppy over at the airport. But yeah, the wind sound is also really freaking ridiculous. I don't know why, but ever since the Laws of War update, the audio for the damn wind has been horrible. And you can't do anything in the Zeus or Eden editor interfaces to fix it. So you just gotta stay low and hope that nothing really bothers you too much. Yeah, I mean, again, these the first mission is going to be easy. Um, I wish I could go on the map and show you the scope of things, what's going to freaking memory leak me, but right now all we've got is two NATO sentries, an eight-man patrolling NATO team, which I'll stick to hold themselves, and then we just got some Gen D forces patrolling the local town. There's a little stakeout right there. Not too hard. I am, once uh, they get in this position, I will start throwing FIA guys around and putting some trace rounds to make it simulate that the FIA and NATO forces are trying to kill each other, but in reality it'll just be an additional faction for them to fight. So uh, the FIA guys are going to be trying to take the water and food trucks for themselves to bring it back to their base which is up in the mountainous terrain over here, and this is mission three. 
And then mission two is going to be in Tanuka, which involves this money truck, which we will, you know, use for building up supplies within the Empire. Now, if I do this, will it memory leak me? Nope. Okay. So for some reason, if you go in the map, you memory leak as a Zeus. I don't know why. I can't really care to figure that out. Also, it only happens on dedicated servers because when I was testing this and doing all my playtest stuff that I basically used to check for memory leaks, none of that happened. So. Basically, these guys are all just being, uh, being trolls. <laughs> UGL. All right. Uh, I am doing a lot of checking on roles here, and I'm being very strict with loadouts. The only people that should have this variant of AK are the UGL guys. The only guys with RPG should be the guys with RPGs. Uh, only machine gunners should be the guys with machine gunners. But I'm kind of cracking down on the enforced list, because if we were to look at the arsenal here, it'll probably take a moment. But, oh, that was actually quick. I have just basically given them this and only all of this as a virtual arsenal. This is all they get. And it's because too many people have been abusing the frickin' arsenal. So, I'm gonna tap over here. Still have these moving patrols. Jeez, they're actually coming pretty damn close, but the foliage is still gonna hide them here. But yeah, they're right here. I don't think they have any idea how close they are to the local police forces. But, uh, yep, it's gonna be up to them to find any drones and supplies of drones. I will be putting a, a usable drone backpack in the third mission and it will be up to them to try to find it so they can use it for all future missions. But after that, I will then you know, after today's video, seeing how the player base does with this style of op, I will make adjustments, and then I will make a video talking about how we're going to do these ops for the coming weeks, if not months. Uh, how would I recommend getting started playing Arma 3? Sorry, turning back a little. See, it's it's tough for me to recommend that, because I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I got into the Arma series back in the early days of DayZ for Arma 2 when it was just a mod. Uh, after that, I kind of got sucked into Arma 3, started playing the base game, played through the campaign, uh, found some guys in DayZ that also played Arma th uh, Arma 2's base game. I might have been saying Arma 3, but this is back in Arma 2. Uh, then I, uh, I started experimenting with mods, started playing around with MCC, which is the precursor to the Zeus interface for Arma 3. And uh, from there... You know, I've just been sticking with the game for years. Uh, moved with it to when it was Arma 3. Made, uh, you know, started working under Loot No 09, perfecting my Zeus skills. Uh, he branched off out of his Man, own community. I took everyone else. Echo, are you guys ready to go? And that's how my community got started. But Alpha's confused. Are we getting a car or not? If you're just starting you off... Take a truck, and Echo will also take a truck, and both of you will move north. Yeah, so they're going to take cars, some groups are going on foot. They're also loading ammo into trucks, that's cool. Uh, if you're just starting off... Things for us to take. First off, I would recommend you get some friends or something. Uh, Fry Daddy, thank you for those bits. I will get to that in a sec, but... I would recommend you play with some friends, because otherwise... Delta, are you guys ready to It's going to get boring pretty fast for you. Bro, sure, you can play on Delta official ready. servers, and right, you can, you can play off, on custom slow, invade and annex servers, like a Hoyer World or 77th JSOC. You can, you know, find a Milsim group or whatnot, but if you don't find your place quickly, this game will quickly get boring for you, because it's a teamwork game. And... You know, official servers and Vanex servers are great for you to Same. get your bearings, but That's teamwork like ghost team. is very, very important within this game. Because without teamwork, you just Thunder have crazy team. fucking chaos. Yeah, Roger, be Although that's what most people like to watch. <laughs> within town of Regina have no eyes on other than a small sliver on the uh, immediate. Yeah, so he's giving some data back and forth. But it also really depends Please on. Please repeat that, Recon. Like, what experience you want to get out of Roger, Arma 3, too. Roger, Recon, 
reports multiple patrols within town of Regina. And that's Possibly how I would approach our three. Armory forces can't see very much into town, moving to get better eyes on. So they're going to move, I'll reposition, try to get better eyes on. Sounds good. Good copy. So I'm not, I did think about that, uh, doing a weapon convoy for I Daddy, uh, but All forces step off if you I thought already. about doing a convoy for 50 people and convoys never work. And I, I did not want that headache, at least today, but we might see a convoy or two in the future for supply hits, but I'm going to have to do a lot of custom scripting to make those work because convoys are probably the worst Arma 3 idea for an op ever in terms of if the Zeus wants to do it. Because those things are crap. Now, if you notice here, there's a little shadow effect. Uh, there's a new feature with an Eden editor that actually lets you hide stuff within the vanilla map. So these are where all trees and bushes and shit, and I just kind of hid them. So the cars have an easier time to go up and down. So let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Uh, and if you don't want to be active in Arma 3, you don't have friends, and just, you know... And if you don't want to join a community, then just go, you know, just play on official servers. There's still life servers. There's still, um, fucking hell, King of the Hill servers. Uh, there's still Ahoy World, 77 JSOC, etc. And I also found the script that allows you to add dogs into the base game. And there's actually a base feature now that lets you put in doggos. So, yep. Uh, regular ammo truck, no convoy. I mean, yeah, all good ideas, but I've got about 25 different scenarios written down that we can choose from, and some can be replayable, because uh, one of the features I want to incorporate is they need to actively be going for water and food to keep themselves up, because every week it's going to consume one water truck and one food truck, and I've got some of those things in Tanuka as well as a hidden objective, but um, they won't really be announced until next week that, you know, that's a thing. That's why the first mission involves gathering food and water, and that's going to be the easiest that one of the night. Command. Send a Delta. So, this truck yeah, is coming over. They're going to mines on the southeast road of the town. They're going to mine part of the town. Really not everyone's going to assault in the same position. So spread out if you can once you get there. Yep, so they're going to try to spread uh, out here. We still have a lot of infantry mind. coming in. The and they're stashing a car right here. All right. Not bad. Put them on the main road. Player base um, is syndicate for this campaign. That is correct. And I have severely limited... Come on, this is Bravo. <sighs> Bravo. I'm going to try to kill Derek. Bravo is Bravo hold point one. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. You shouldn't have a freaking auto rifle Copy in an that. RPG. Get in position wait for the other teams. I don't know why people can't figure that out, but I think it's Copy simple. That. I'll just take away the RPG from the arsenal so only people that spawn with it can utilize it. So let me actually make that change right now. So I can go to the RPG, unvirtual arsenal list, and then watch this. I can actually go into Derek's inventory. Where is that little arsenal? And I can just take that away. Oop, boom, bye. <laughs> I love doing that. Yeah, exactly, Northern. But the rock, uh, the rocket itself is still in the arsenal. So if people with RPGs need to, you know, give themselves those weapons back, then they can. They can give them, or not the weapons, the ammo back. Another feature I have is I've got two cardboard boxes here, and if they find things like marksman rifles or really high-powered scopes, and they want to keep them for uh, the next week, come on, they can store them there, them and uh, you know, bring them try. in for use. Uh, we passed a. Discarded off roads. Yeah, it's a on the road uh, on a green line. That's, yeah, uh, he's referring to that. The grid that is oh, Ghost five, Teams. Six, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Andrew just answered that question. So, Ghost Team. The Ghost Team. Is Ghost Team back here. Those ghosts, Vic. Here they are. All right, so this is another squad Copy. coming around. They're probably going to be able to find this. All squads, but... command unit will function as logistical support. Uh, we'll be transporting the vehicles. You guys just mark them on map for us. 
Yeah, he, they're probably not going to be able to see what's going on over there, but they're swinging around. Again, the whole goal is to hit this IDAP storage Bravo, facility, Bravo, take the water trucks, Bravo, and Delta take the food and trucks, Bravo, and Bravo, anything Bravo, else they Bravo, might want to go. So I'm going to send this Echo, puppy over. Echo's about 200 meters up. And then have her go over there. So okay. she'll start spinning up. Then we'll put that pilot over there. Bravo, Delta, Charlie, wait for Echo and Alpha to get in position, and then we'll attack all of them. It's not casually walking, but that's all right. Alpha. So yeah, it's basically Alpha. just going to swing Alpha. around. Come here, that should be good. Uh, come here. Uh, school's going good. School's going good. Say again, ghost team. It's, it's always slow in the beginning, in but the then it Say quickly again, picks up. You just gotta make sure you are not caught off guard and you're always keeping up with your work. Okay, I guess this chopper is just gonna fuck off over there, I guess. Chopper's moving away to the southeast over. That's to give him a hint of where the storage facility is. The doggo can't have a vest. There's no wearable doggo vests that uh, can be utilized here. So I'm gonna take an off-road. Again, can't open the damn map or else I fucking memory leak for whatever stupid reason. I'm just gonna have it pass by and go over to the airport. Because why not? So we'll follow this puppy in and see if we, um, you know, get this done. Challenge accepted. I mean, of course you can Echo, edit in your a vest and, you know, make the dog wear the vest that way through scripting, fire. but, um, <laughs> Can't say that. why would you? So let's see if they're actively hiding, because these roads are active. We've they got just a went proud. Uh, gendarme truck coming the, um, to the echo position. Well, okay, so it looks like they actually were Stay able to up. hide uh, we have properly one car from with the a truck. single passenger just past the echo point. No contact taken. That was a little risky for these two guys, but the rest of the guys in the house, that was very well done. Echo, are you ready to move? That guy's gonna continue on. Echo is at Echo Hold Point. Have a late joiner probably coming it's up to assist. But there's forces. a big force. All forces engage at will. Move in. Within right here. So they're calling the engage at will command. And we're gonna start seeing a lot of police forces I mean, and again. reinforcements come from Georgetown. I just heard a shot. Enemies. Enemies west of Delta. That car is going to freak out. These are guys are just using like MP5s. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm one. And the body armor that these guys have also isn't going to be the most effective. So I'm taking fire. This crossing the road, what the beam did. Ow, they <laughs> they broke the frickin' Okay again, Charlie has crossed the road, watch for the good watch for this grenade fire, please. I uh, caught fish on it. Cannot hear this car. There we go. I'm just gonna drive through here. Ooh, roadkill, and I get shot in the back of the head. Commander Recon, have you located the trucks? <laughs> 
Negative. All right, so we're going to send in some reinforcement QRF here from NATO and try to get an evac going for the IDAP personnel. So let's see, reinforcements. We're going to have spawn units. Uh, Blue 4, CTRG, NATO, NATO, yes. Helicopter, we'll do a Ghost Hawk, it'll land, drop a rifle squad, and then RTB. So, grab our guys, get the... Get everyone to come over, these guys are gonna go aware. We just need to now get everyone to come over and start doing evac, because we heard shots, so we need to be careful. Let me just quickly grab these guys, have them come over, because they're having a big... Jeez, what the hell did Andruza do? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck did you do? Delta, do you copy? Oh, This is Delta. This is Delta. The whole squad of Charlie is down. Jesus! Copy that. Charlie, pull back and take care of um, setting up the roadblock. Um. Uh, Delta, we stand back. Should I did stand he in on shoot it or blow it up or something? I mean, Modedick's gonna start working on him. That's good, but he's gonna need a lot of first aid kits. Cause that. Helicopter out. Echo. That's not good. That's that's very bad. So they're going to try to get in that Vic as it lands. Otherwise they're going to try to get out of the AO. Someone just killed himself somehow. But I have I have no idea how Andrews did that. Maybe because he's the guy that caused the vehicle to explode in one form or the other. Who knows. But let's start having the FIA guys come in. start messing around so this is now going to be arrayed by the fia aka the other faction yeah, they're going to be what? fighting Send uh it. hearts and minds will matter but they're Inside. i'm not getting that specific Kilo for this campaign times uh, 60 go sock with on board mitney guns eight packs offloaded pushing north so we're gonna say that these idiots How did you get that? Lifting in his oscar mic got into the damn thing as they were supposed to. Alpha Command, do you copy? So they're gonna get away. IDAP workers are out of here. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Those two guys are just gonna chill. So that's gonna get out of there. I They're able to get most of the guys back up because it's just vanilla, but yeah, it's, it's really weird how that happened. So FIA are gonna start coming in to loot the town. Command, this is Delta. Should we start placing mines on the road? Yes. They're gonna place okay, mines on the road. Back to we are full. Everybody's up. Alright, Delta, take care of the roadblock. Charlie, start moving <laughs> through the uh, town. So, here come the FIA. I'm also going to have some Gendarme forces to come in. Echo, our roadblock is set up. Alright, get ready for contact. Also, watch out for that infantry. Delete that, put those, put them in the damn thing. Uh, so, let's get them on the to tidy minutes, whoever. Send it. Want to push in and clear the town of Delta or continue along the line to assault the railway point? Clear the town first, and then support Alpha and Bravo. Hold on. We're gonna have those things stop right there. We're gonna let that infantry group engage this upcoming group as they try to come in. Because they don't know that the FIA and the Blue 4 NATO guys are gonna be friendly towards each other. And it looks like the Gendarmerie forces actually took out What's That. Got the drop on him from right here as they try to move in. Meanwhile, these guys are still trying to secure this location. Explosions were heard. 
And I guess they're starting to exchange fire here. I'm trying to see how Jason went down. There's some guys that are even killing themselves for whatever silly reason. But yeah, FIA you can use for so many different roles. You can use them as a PMC role for Vanilla. You can use them as like a local insurgent force. You can use them as an upgraded police force. Whatever floats your boat. But it looks like there were two casualties sustained right here. Ice Dragon and someone up there. Though I think Infested Doc had said he killed himself. So we're just sending that force Echo in. The command. We're engaging uh, infantry coming down the coastal road. Copy that. Hold if you can. We're gonna send these two Vicks over, try to have them push through that engagement. They may or may not have some issues, though. Alpha Bravo made it to the comp. The, uh, Meanwhile, the squad's still yet. coming up. Still have Alpha's two men passed. down we right have, over here. From the, uh, east, west. And we've also got some smoke yeah, going off from right here yeah, as units start pushing in. Uh, Charlie holding cover point, small hook check, four, uh, five time contact down. I uh, have three vehicles here at this up position. So, okay. Looks like they put some mines down, actually, and that stopped some of the Gendarmerie forces right there. They were taken out. Ice Dragon was executed by Infested Daka. Dude. Not cool when you kill your friendlies, bro. Not cool. So I'm not going to delete any bodies either. I've got a 10 minute script running where all bodies and every like all the other gunk is cleaned up. That gives people 10 minutes to loot stuff if they need to. But now we've got uh, more FIA forces coming in. They're still skirmishing with these guys. I'm going to grab one of these people right here. Grab me an RPG. My back blast player? Cool. Alright. Recon command, if you feel like taking those vehicles yourself, you can go ahead and do that. Roger, we're leaving them there for right now for a call back so, position. So, give them a warm welcome, shall we? And I think I got one person with that rocket, so... That's acceptable. Yep. Uh, Alley right there. The rest of them are falling back. Some of them are taking fire from this group coming in. But if you notice how people are dropping to each other's rounds, these guys are using like the worst 5.56 five, weapons ever, but it's because of that lack of body armor. Equipment like body armor and better backpacks will be part of other ops that will need to be done. Look at this. Two auto riflemen are still alive, and they're actually hammering this squad down pretty badly. So he's trying to fire past. The only issue was he kept hitting that rock. So some of these guys might need to come back and assist their units, but otherwise some squads are pushing up. And now they've got to fight NATO, and NATO will have the superior advantage here. Grizzly missing a lot of those shots point blank. Manages to drop him. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? <laughs> Aim got a little better. I might have been able to just drop Comey on with that last shot. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Contact! Here, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do something a little nasty. Throw a grenade. <laughs> that got the medic too, though. He was too close. One thing you want to stop here, the player base's main advantage right now is numbers. And that is going to be Delta the main command. advantage they doing? utilize for uh, we are holding the, the first few we weeks. Yeah, spacing, I know, right? Echo the only issue with numbers cool is even though you're being uh, engaged by, you know, a much tougher group, if you, find any good you will have the numbers to beat them out. The and then as they slowly build themselves up with better supplies, from there, so it looks like a lot of them are actually choosing the force respawn, even though what's that could have gotten his group around. But um, as things go on, there'll be more of a balance of units to fight versus player base. Uh, 
you know, the amount of players that we have playing. Because 50 players, that's very tough to balance. But with this method we've got going, one grenade you can kill five guys with and it won't, you know, it won't normally not do anything to them because they don't have body armor. So what this actually allows for is I can use a lot of unit, a lot less units, have server performance greatly increase, and this is Delta. We are still, taking still provide a pretty time. challenging op to the player base here. I mean, these guys are still fighting in this town uh, for whatever reason, but we're also seeing some bodies start to get deleted for that 10-minute timer. So what's that force <laughs> is starting to push in as well. And it looks like we have an auto rifleman coming around. Let's send him around, see what he does. Will he get shot? We got another guy coming out. Gets dropped. He starts firing back. They get him. But it looks like Rainbow got shot in the crossfire right there. Dead girl goes down. Command, recon. So Mag's gonna have to go back. These guys are now being attacked by that large squad. Man, He's trying to use bullet penetration to get him. Echo just uh, lost a lot of guys. Uh, how do we reinsert? Just grab a car or huff it? Grab a car. But they are still. Man, you know... recon. Send it. Roger, IDA cap is found. Grid ref at the railway depot. Multiple fucking NATO forces need backup. Mm -hmm. There's a Charlie decent Newton. amount of NATO units Alpha here. As well. Definitely, yeah, if this squad, if all these units came up to assist, then they could easily overwhelm the squad. But right now, they're getting pretty... Bravo is at Bravo, hole point three. They're getting dropped pretty hard right now because there's only four guys left. There's still Bravo there's more in. NATO than Syndicate right now. So these guys need to come in and reinforce. But this is all a numbers game. It looks like Larry D and Killadog actually found the little police encampment I made right here that What's That team ran into, and they're actually taking the vehicles back to use. Very nice. Uh, FR revived What's That. He should probably come back and grab Dead Gull. I think I just accidentally executed Dead Gull. We have a friendly Gull. Emmett moving up the road. I'm just popping a few 40 mic mic blasts there. Yep, and they're pulling back now because I definitely out. need backup. And AI Hemet. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. Yep, that is... No one's confirming it, though, but that is one of the food trucks that needed to be stolen. They just popped a bunch of smoke, and they booked it out of there. Very nice grab right there. By Comian. See, as expected. Cool. Now, here's the only issue about this campaign. This is Delta. We are still taking fire from the northwest of the town. Several spots coming in from the northwest. Hold if you can. Blind fire! Everyone else, don't worry about carrying infantry. Just get this fix out. Take an echo. Currently too effective at our uh, ambush point. <laughs> we did have approximately three squads. So very good job. He drove way uh, off that road. And uh, guns dropped over there. So once we get uh, the rest of the people in, we can. Uh, so, quite a bit. And now da boom right here. He's yeah, basically recon. skirmishing off the rest of these forces. Recon. Jeez, it's down to One what's that? In field three KIA. Heavy enemy contacts at fucking uh, railway. Need it back. I'm gonna put in some more NATO reinforcements. Once the Vicks are out, just fall back. We're going to do a ghost talk. Yep. Alpha, Bravo. And it's Charlie gonna come in with that. another fire team. Yeah, we put or through. rifle squad. We just took some casualties, but we're moving on now. Pushing in now. So Bardi, it looks like he's pushing his entire team with an off-road to Alpha come charging. steal stuff. They're gonna charge in. Meanwhile, the rest of these forces Alpha are coming in as right well. Now. And this team is holding right here to secure to Delta, everything. Please be advised, we'll be coming through with a truck through us. I'm going to put down a weapon squad. Ooh, actually, let's let's throw in some technicals. 
There's a fast acting squad here to try to raid this location. First, we'll have them come All over squads here. Be kilos back inbound towards our position. And coming in, that same ghost talk, yep, is going to come in. I thought about doing it here on, but this would be a better idea. Let's see if an RPG man like ASF can see that it's going to try to land and get a lucky shot off of her, thereby disabling NATO's ability to call in reinforcements. I gotta make sure to grab all your vehicles when you come back. So they're gonna touch down. If they're unable to repel that assault, here, you heard that RPG shot, but it was a miss because the chopper was still coming in a bit too hard. Look at that, beautiful hit. Now she's going down. She might be able to auto-rotate it out. Ooh, very messy, but yes, they were able to do that, so they got a Black Hawk down. At this point, all forces need to just get out of here. Look up the made a crash landing to. So we're gonna have them re go the up field, to Georgetown to, the, to try to get out of uh, here. They will try their best to make it. They landed right okay, next to this squad, and now the fighting continues. Charlie, send your engineer to the crash site so they can fix it quickly. Meanwhile, these uh, whoa, whoa. technicals are running into the minefield that was made right here. And, and Abby is the only the guy left, and he's fighting quickly, these two not, technicals, oh, 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 which oh, are oh, now oh, ramming into oh, each oh, other. So they're going to just divert to the IDAP camp to try to raid it again. Recon, how many trucks do you have left? Uh, say again? How many trucks are remaining in the objective? I love how it still managed to get guy to left. one of that. So let me see what I can do in terms of reinforcements for the FIA. Uh, NATO, oh, we can't even make... They got through before we got through. Helicopters, cars, we'll do a Prowler Light. We'll start sending in the elite We've teams. We've got the one with 50 count. I'm going to... Get those Vix deleted to try to clear the way here. Vix got destroyed. So let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Have a prowler light to use. Let's find, try and hold so we still have forces firing back and forth. He's firing blindly at I guess where he hears gunfire. Trying to be advised, is a heavy NATO in the area around the helicopter. Copy. Don't worry about the helicopter. Get those last trucks out. We have another Apers mine, another two. There's one right there, one right here. But we'll see what this Prowler does as it comes in. So they're not going to get Special out. Forces, uh, overrunning echo position. I yeah, we need those reinforcements. Char Bravo. Charlie and Alpha, move in. This is what it's all about. Here's Alpha. We're actually doing a engaged. really good job dropping these guys. They're using their RPGs to try to use them as um, anti-personnel. Charlie Clark drops both of those guys. Nice. Command is setting up to take out that technical. Gonna have to give him another like five minutes before we start really calling in the big guns here. Command, this is Delta. The ambush point, uh, point is uh, clear. I'm gonna give um uh, another five minutes. If I don't see any good progress, we're gonna start really popping in like APCs and whatnot to get the operation going, because it's got to be quick here. We still have this food truck right here that someone needs to secure, and we have both of these water trucks, and no one is focusing on the objective, yet Comion was able to quickly do things. They have their objective. Command, this is Delta. Do you want us to push Back up to and reinforce the other squads, or should we hold at the ambush point? And they've got it right there. If you feel comfortable so, sending a fire team up to support, go ahead. If not, hold at your ambush point. I guess Larry's just chilling in the bushes. But yep, that's all they got to do. So we're going to really start pushing in some serious stuff. Here. Uh, this is High Command and Ground Command. Do you copy? 
Drunk men copies. Roger, uh, our spy has just stopped talking with one of our NATO moles. They're going to start sending heavy reinforcements to the IDAP camp. Complete your objective ASAP or else you're in danger of being overrun. Copy that, High Command. They just Alpha need to Bravo, grab Charlie, these three events. I know what they're Robert doing, speed. though. They're trying to grab all the gear they can. The Alpha, go ahead and come Such as BCML. Well. See, everyone's doing looting right now. I get that. But the time for looting is a bit over. Still have that one guy. They take so, him out. Him warm welcome, shall we? So they've got three more minutes until I bring in the convoy. But see, now immediately they've got the two water trucks going. They just also need to get the food truck. And then boom, they're good. Mission complete. The rest, they can, you know, have vehicles come in, quickly load up everything and anything from NATO, put them in the gear slot, and then be done. Looks like they're also trying to repair this Prowler, but they would need Noodle Ani Nick to have a repair kit, aka a toolkit, and get this thing prepped. There's also guys by the chopper right here. But I don't think they're getting it, which is one of my fears when I have a campaign that involves looting stuff. People are focusing on the wrong things. They're not focusing on the objective, and it's going to punish them. So I'm going to set these puppies up. And by the time so they reach them, them welcome, shall we? it will be disastrous. So, Marshall, Panther, Slammer, APC. We'll do another one. stands now commanding Charlie because Andrew has shit or not. Yeah, Andrew's, uh, I saw that he DC'd. But, yep, here comes that convoy, so they need to start pulling back, because this is going to be a good reminder. It's going to pretty much neutralize his squad. A few of the mines might be able to stall the wheels, but, yeah, they pretty much called Broken Arrow, so they need to get out of here. Delta. Again, um, I'm being a little lighter I'm than the actual reinforcements here. Up to the is there an actual food the item they can pick up? Squad. No, Rig unfortunately, man, there's ghost not. Team. Go ahead, ghost team. Be advised, we have three times vehicles, looks like two fuel and uh, one miscellaneous supplies, RTB at this time. Yep, so they're sending From, uh, IDAF camp. those back, those they're all, all looting. Roger, three times, uh... Broken some of the wheels. Three times utility vehicles. Understood. All forces withdraw. Charlie, do you still have an engineer? Uh, please, so. Go check out the uh, helicopter again, it looks pretty clear this time. See if you can fix it, if not, blow it. Copy. Delta and Echo, hold for a little bit Echo longer. Echo has a marshal passing our position. Copy that Echo, fuck off. Everyone else also fuck off. Guns disabled. So good job for that Vic, but you've got... Few other nasty yeah, okay. from Charlie has engineer or a helicopter. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys aren't gonna let you pull out. In fact, they're gonna have a bit of a death race. <laughs> Abby, oh, he didn't make it out. Man, I need to fall back. Welcome, yeah, it's definitely time to fall back. All forces fall back. Does that include Charlie? We're doing helicopter right now. Yeah, if you guys can't get it done quick enough, then you need to. Echo, get out we have too. a full um, armored uh, group approaching us. We're gonna start the massacre. Echo, go ahead and fall back. Yeah, I wasn't firing because they uh, the Delta first few mines and that first RPG shot actually disabled the gun, which was really good on them. Bought them a few seconds. So we're going to re-secure our chopper here. Echo uh, has one uh, APC disabled at its spot before uh, we were uh, largely wiped. Bradley at the... Great, great, great. Bradley. Sorry, Bradley. Yeah. Marshall. At the helicopter. At the helicopter. helicopter. Fall back. Yeah. 
So I'm going to send in the LAV to try to cut them off. Good job, but yeah, I think this team was entirely wiped after that. So I'm going to start deleting some of the bodies back here because there's no way they're going to be reached. And now we're just going to watch some of the fun little massacre. Alpha Bravo Charlie. Sit rep. Um, Charlie's being engaged by marshals. We are attempting to... Crew just jumped out right Alpha on Charlie. Zeno's position and just mowed him down. Alpha, don't forget oh, the no right. remorse. Dig in. Don't forget the vehicle. No you remorse. But they got the objective done. That's the important thing. But yeah, I'm not gonna Bravo, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this one. Bravo is currently in the town of Regina heading back to base. Bravo, if you could hold Regina to the north uh west for enemies coming from the um, echo checkpoint. And until 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 the rest until of the, until the rest of the infantry can pull out. Uh, echo to come out. In the deck, huh? We have two vehicles uh, to the east of our uh, ambush point that we would like to retreat because they have a lot of gear in it. Is it okay to take one or two people? Okay, have them do it. Out? Get them out of here. I think that's good echo, enough. Like uh, they still got two guys, guys right here. Adam's um, chilling negative. in the back Most right here. I don't think he knows what to do. I know of a vehicle in the town. So we're just going to go follow. Are there any forces that haven't follow. gotten to Regina yet? Or have gotten into the forest? Because the town of Regina was also reported to have enemy units. I've gotten to the small forest west of Regina. So we're going to go clear that out too. Alright. Command Ghost. Go ahead, guys. Be advised, three times packs, uh, RTB, ammo and water. Yeah, I got Grizzly last water. second. Good work, it was guys. just on my scope. Barty, really Delta going Echo, towards the edge right here. All forces get ready to completely withdraw. So, looks like... These fans, let me know when you're Bardicus is doing some last minute looting. Copy that. Oh, but some rifles, that's good to see. Some friendly fire being done, too. I don't know what that was about. But they need to be careful there. We have the armor now coming up. Make these groups run with all deliberate speed. But yeah, this will at least keep NATO swamped for a while. All forces, we've got an air rep coming into Regina. There goes C-SPANs. Now we're having some frickin'... These vehicle AI are not the smartest. All forces fall back. All forces fall back. Leave Regina, smoke and retreat. Advise there is tanks in Regina right now. Echo is going to take a wide berth north to uh, retrieve our fix. We're out with four. We've got two. Uh, we've got one at the truck. So they're at the coast right now. Disabled the turret. Um, I got killed, but be advised there is a Regina right now. They're gonna call for the support of the tank to come in. It knocked down Pharanox. We also have the infantry also starting to come in. I think Azrael's trying to get up to grab their Vic. Not a bad plan there. 
books are important, but this is all just stalling for the frickin' infantry to come up. So they may think they're gonna get their victory right here, but they are just delaying the inevitable. But a good first mission. They got what they needed to get done. People that did quick looting or basically started throwing stuff in supply caches did very well to do that, but... Now the tank's gonna come in. The tank ain't happy. Also, your mind means nothing to me. So that's the panther that's pulling out. Yeah, that's... That blows up the Vic too. Now we've got the infantry coming in. So we're just cleaning that up. Going to mark this mission as a success. Oh, I went into the map and it didn't crash me. Yay, but I'm not going to make a habit of that until I figure it out. So let me quickly tab out, grab the second mission that we've got here called...